This is Albert Einstein, probably the smartest dude to ever live. When most people think of him, they think of E equals MC squared, even though no one really knows what that means. But when I think of Albert Einstein, I think of the famous quote he said that my ninth grade world history teacher loved to repeat. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. Everyone in my class was getting bad grades, and I guess he said this to us to try to to inspire us to change our study habits? Little did he know, and little did Albert Einstein know when he made this quote, that it would be highly applicable to Rust being played in 2019. You see, purely hypothetical situation here, by the way. Let's say a base is built just up the hill from me and my teammates, and this base starts roof camping us. If we were to sit back and let it happen and not do anything and expect it to stop, well, according to Einstein, that would make us insane, and we don't want to be insane. So if this were to happen, and I'm not saying that it will, we would have to come up with a quick and clever solution to the problem. Maybe something like this played out in our story today. Who knows? My name's Stevie. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Now, our story today is a part two. I'd highly recommend you go watch my last video, which shows everything that took place at the beginning of this adventure. But if you're too lazy to go do that, I'll give you a quick recap of everything that happened then. Fellow Rust content creator Pablito, my friend Nate, and I loaded into a server a few hours after it had reset. Our beginning was a bit rough, but we found our footing. We won a bunch of fights, we got a bunch of guns and gear, we successfully counter-raided getting our first AK set, and we turned that AK set into two more AK sets. And then at the very end of the day, or rather halfway through the night, we were out farming in the snow when I killed a heavily geared player flying back to his base. He was completely loaded on explosives. Pretty crazy how much he had on him so early in the wipe. It was a jackpot, and we were gonna turn out to need all the explosives that he had. We upgraded our base a bit, and then we logged off for the night. That's where our story in my last video came to a close, and that's exactly where we'll pick it up from. I still can't get over that fucking guy in the middle of the snow, in the middle of the night. Yeah, he's been fucking twigging everywhere. I don't know what he upgraded to stone. Something definitely got upgraded. I'm gonna take a peek. So... I still have off on this. You want to come outside with me side. real quick? They probably they probably placed a TC. That's probably what they upgraded, I think. Yo, what is that? What? Look oh, west. Wow. Yikes. Okay. That's going to be a roof cam tower and a half. We, we need to raid that. Oh, my. Yeah, that needs to get going. <laughs> it's not going to be fun. They're going to be able to see all in our compound. Damn, they did all that overnight. That was not there at all. Yep. So, when we logged off the previous night, that thing was not there, and when we woke up the next morning, it was. Usually towers made like this turn out to be roof camping towers, and being higher up on the hill than our base was, they would be able to see perfectly in our compound. Now, they weren't up there at this point, and we hadn't seen or heard anything near their base so far, so we went on minding our own business, destroying all the twig that was built in our compound overnight. Once that was done, we took a heli to the snow. The morning meant that not that many people were on, which was a good opportunity to get some farming done. Is that a mini? It is. You wanna Oh, oh there are flashlights on in there. I say we do. We could yoink that at a later point. Raiding. No. Yeah, that's been raided. There's a ladder sticking through the roof and they've sealed off breach and there's ladders going up the side, dead bodies on the roof. Front doors missing or off? It's open. Uh, yeah, that's been raided. Oh, that's the breach shit. right there. <laughs> Ouch. We kept the base you just saw that was being raided in mind, but steered away for now. We wanted to get some farming done, so we hit some nodes, brought it back to our base, and once morning came, we went back to the snow to see if we could counter raid. Can maybe land it right up here in the rocks? Yeah, it's so just on this little ledge here, I guess. Oh, 
Kirche. Do you have a stash? Yeah, it's a bit of cast a minute. I'm gonna make him with a med just in case something. Never know. Okay, I'm put Minicops is not on the base anymore. Maybe that'll give us the opportunity to kill them if they come back. Are the ladders still up? Uh, yep. Oh, one's going up there right now. Full metal. Okay. Alright, just leave them. He's going in. Yeah, so, so in. that's the raid base, 100%. We could camp the raid base. Yeah. Um, or we just get on this right here, this fucking cave. And as he runs back to transfer more loot, we can just spray him. If you want to go there, I'll get up behind the raid base. Yeah, that sounds Double good. Hill. I hope this bush renders in. Okay, he's picking up the ladder. Mini cops coming. 70. You want to kill the guy? You see the guy on it? You see this guy? Okay, let's let the minicopter land. You ready to headshot the pilot? Can't see him. He's landing at my view. Okay. Hit him. him, he's dead. I'm pushing out of wall. Yeah. Hit him, he hit me. He's running instant ammo, so watch out. He walled, backs out of the base. Okay. So did I, I have no fucking, I have no more walls. I'm hit. Yeah, I'm gonna push right here and angle on him. You good? Yeah, he pushed out the raid base. I'm good there. I can't see him shooting you. Fuck. I'm kind of in a tough spot. We need to kill this guy quick. Shoot him, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Nice, nice, nice. I just got hit. Okay. Just just hide for a bit. We're good. Yeah, I'm good. That guy will be on timing. Oh, I'm good. I can get a flower flank here. He can't see me moving around. Be able to come right up beside him. I'm getting in 39. I can't see that at all. It's fun to hit him. Although I am in a scuffed ass spot. Well, the guy in the wall's pushing. He's running like uh, towards our base direction. Hit him. Like northwest. He's trying to get a side angle on you. He I see, I see, I see, I see. Kill the guy, kill the guy up there. Nice, that's not, nice. Not this guy close though. Yeah, I'm moving up on him. If he peeks me, I'm fucked. Yeah, he's gonna peek me, he's gonna peek me. No, he's like looking the other way, he's trying to look at me right now. No, 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 no. he's looking at me, I'm almost dead. Oh. Alright, I made it back to my walls. M39's back up there, I'm headshot, I'm really weak. Cool. He's perfectly zigzagging yeah, my bullets. <laughs> You got this guy close? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, they're gonna come out of the base with more guns. I need to run to the initial body we killed. I'm gonna grab his meds and grab his heli. I'm gonna get this guy's shit. Bunch of charcoal and shit. He's got an extra wall too. Why would they not hit him? Hit him up there. We need to leave before they come you back. Got stuff? Yeah, I did. Alright. Oh, I'm getting shot. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm full dead. Oh no. Yeah, I saw it. I'm gonna just flank. I have this uh the stash here. Yeah, I hit him up there. He m might be down. He's dead. He's dead. He just f one. He f one. Guy here there. Okay, okay. I have an yeah. idea. He's at your body right now. He, he okay. He has full AK and shit though. I'm gonna come I in this him. other heli. You killed the guy close. At your body, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. I'm gonna land behind the base so I can loot my body. Yeah, I'm just yoinking the med off you. Oh, I'm dead. By what? I just got f one grenaded. He's on top of the base with F1s. Okay. Dead. They're both dead. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Shit. He 
spawned in this space. We need to dip, dude. Yeah, did you get my AK? Yeah, I have an AK on the ground. Steady. Steady. Overall, that counter raid went really well. Now, I left a lot of that footage in so you guys can really see how Pablito and I used communication and positioning to best the raiders in that encounter. We started by split pushing me to the left, Pablito to the right, so we could create a crossfire on the base that was being raided. Once the minicopter came, we targeted the pilot because he had significantly weaker armor and couldn't heal while flying. Immediately after killing the pilot, I rushed to the left, creating a bigger crossfire between me and Pablito, giving the remaining raider less time to think and less cover to work with. Careful not to stupidly die right when I was peaked, I walled, because a skilled player could insta-melt me at that range with a good AK spray. I only had an M39 to work with, so I would rather play off the angles and the number advantage to win the fight. Some crisp shots by Pablito and I shut down the remaining raiders backup that came from the hill. We killed the last guy and after a little bit of a close call, we were able to make it home with a lot more loot than we came with. But right when we got back to our base, we heard someone chopping wood outside, but there were no trees in the direction of the chopping. It was our neighbor breaking his bunker, meaning that he was getting online for the day. Oh, the neighbor's online. He's breaking his bunker. Which one? The one right up the office. Ooh, that guy. Okay. Where are our seven? You good? I'm dead. I'm very dead. Where is he? He's on the south side of the base. Like down the hill from our base? So. He's dead. Nice. I think. No, no, no. He's not. He's behind that base, sir. Hit him like four times. Okay, I see him. Hello? Oh, hit him again. That was, that was rough, man. He's dead, though. This is rib. It, oh, they're gonna be annoying. Y you know what I think we could do? Honestly, they have a bunker, so they don't have that many doors. If if we can put them on a bag timer, I think we can get we can go deep on them or use explosive ammo. Here's your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. If he if I mean if we kill him as he comes out, he's not gonna have the a bunch. Of oh, this guy dead. Um. If he comes out, I think he'll only have like one or two doors closed. Like, I don't think he'll close a bunch. So the plan was simple. Our neighbor Riv had just got online and within minutes of doing so, he had already killed one of us and we figured he was going to be pretty pesky. So it would be best to get rid of him. Now, he lived in a bunker base. They're really strong base designs to protect against offline raiding. But it's a chore to open and close a bunker each time you leave the base, so he probably was going to keep his bunker open while he was online. Now, from looking at the outside of the base, it seemed to be a honeycombed 2x2, two two, meaning that there wasn't that much room inside, meaning he probably didn't have a bed, meaning that if we killed him once, he respawned, and we killed him again, he would be on a 5 minute bag timer. This would either give us a lot of time to go deep on his base, or to raid it. So that's exactly what we planned to do. Now we just needed to bait him to come outside. Kids are not really? Right, come get off. <laughs> okay. Come on. He's tried getting his body like five times now. He should come outside of his base, dude. We're shooting and building. But even if he doesn't, I mean, <laughs> we're getting external TCs done, so it works out. Wait, how the fuck did he even shoot at me? I didn't see him. He's in a wizard. Bush, I think. He's dead in doorway. Dead on roof. Wait, how do he close the door? I mean, he must have closed it right before he died, or there's three. I guess he closed it right as you downed him. Yeah, because the inside one's open. Now we just need them to come out again within the next, like, 30 seconds to a minute. Wait, where'd his body go? It's right here. It fell off the side. Oh, wait, I can't even see it. Oh. Can you loot the rest? I can't. Yep. He's in a doorway. Double headshot. He is gone. Wait. <laughs> you can probably loot him. 
Well, they should be on timer, right? Yeah. Should I go get the boom? Go get it. It's in the small box next to TC. Okay. Yeah. Boom, I'm gonna start booming. I can boost you over that one if yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. Is there a shotgun shot there? Oh, the, oh my god. Nah, he shut the door, but I mean, fuck. Oh shit, I can pass you shit yeah. through. Yeah. Sorry, you have to shoot like at the hinges. If there's shotgun traps, I'm, I'm gonna straight up die. Should I pass you all the shit right now? Yeah, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. In case. I'm gonna give you all the boom. I might just give you my metal, honestly. Cause I just, yeah. just to check, just to yeah, check. Yeah, take that. Okay, got some loot. We're one armor door away from main. Okay. Just keep watching the outside. Ooh. Three HP rockets. I'm gonna start passing you the best shit, okay? Uh, I'm full with your stuff, so I'm gonna have to go deep out real quick. Box of chart. Multiple, dude. Okay, yeah, you gotta hurry. There's a lot of good shit in here. I'm gonna slap this Hazzy on. Bring more explo. Bring more explo. Yeah. And that star back. Get in, I can do it. Okay, just take that for now and I'll go get more explo in a sec when I run this back. Oh my god, if they spawn in and grab a rocket, this could be all over if I get through. Could as well. Let me know if you hear spawn sound, I'm kind of preoccupied. Yeah. Is that new over here? He opened doors? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. This is tough, like, dude. Did he open the hatch or? Oh, yeah. No, he opened the door completely. I mean, I can pass you a launcher for this HV rocket. Oh, I'm gonna just go for it, dude. They're, I'm giving them too long to think. I, I'm at off angle, so they shouldn't be able to. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go for it. It's broken. I'm dead. They're dead. They're both dead. Both dead. Both dead. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> no way that they closed me in, but it. I mean, that's fine. I got everything. Good AK. Nice. All right, bags are both destroyed. Okay. Why didn't they close that garage door? Is this you opening doors? No, 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 no. They're, they're in. Can't open it, can I? There's no way. Yeah, they're in the base. They're in the base right what? now, dude. Are you watching? I literally stepped away to pick up the Zeka for like two seconds, but like, you need there to, was you... no one at the base when I literally just walked away from it. Okay, well, I mean, they're in the base. They've, they've closed all the doors behind. I'm gonna try to break TC, but this just got a whole lot harder. Oh my God, dude, uh, this is gonna be close. There might be two of them. Shit. No way they have a TC on them, right? I pretty much doubt it. Got TC down. Is it AK in Shotgun trap watching it. Now, how to get out? Oh my comps. Why would they not rocket me? I don't understand. I don't know. I'm still kind of confused. Like, the fucking timing on their behalf must have been insane. Like, the second I walked off the roof, they got okay. in there. So they got. 
I think I'm gonna have enough explosives to blow through that armored door and one behind it. And if not, I can make satchel charges in here. And then it, then I just have to kill that guy in a one-on-one. -on -one. And if I kill him, we got it all. Should I go ahead and start throwing him? Yeah, yeah that's good. Fuck it. We'll send it. I hope that doesn't kill me. I don't think it will. I'm full dead. Rip. <laughs> full dead. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I have a bag. But, like, what? Well, make sure your bag's on good health. Oh, shit. I don't think about that. Actually, that may kill me. Rip. Dude. Okay. It didn't do any damage. Ah, oh, fuck. The shotgun trap's dying. Alright, I'm through the armor door. Okay. He's dead. Ho oh, ho. He crunched me to 19 HP. <laughs> Woo! I had played metal on though, so I lived Sad. that, dude. That was close. That was so close. Oof. So with the base owners now cleared out of the base, I was safe to blow the last sheet metal door to get to the shop front, and then I passed everything through to Pablito. A few AK sets, a bunch of charcoal and components, really quite a bit of everything, and made the raid worth it. Our plan had worked perfectly. And although their loot was nice, getting them out of our area was even nicer. But not too long after, and our other neighbors, the ones with the brand new base, seemed to be online. By the time you guys are watching this video, my brand new merchandise has released. Now, I've done merchandise in the past. It looked like this. Pretty much just my logo. Super simple. But honestly, I wasn't really pleased with the quality of the product. So I took a lot of time and I found the right provider that has much, much higher quality. And I put a lot of effort into these two designs that I'm about to show you. And I made a website to go with it as well. The first one is the Revenge Artist design. Now, if you're a frequent viewer of my videos, you know that's how a lot of them play out. I get revenge on someone who does me wrong. So here's the mask that you see in a lot of my thumbnails with my logo on the top of it. It says Revenge Artist. There's some really cool background graphics, a lot of colors, it pops. Personally, out of the two, it's my favorite. But I know some of you guys would prefer less gaming intensive apparel. And for that reason alone, I made the game on design. So here that one is, actually the one that I'm wearing right now. My logo's there, but it's faint. The phrase game on can apply to a lot more than just gaming. Super sleek, the white compliments, the black and vice versa because the design's also in white. Now I am only selling a total of 200 items. I want the people that do choose to support my channel by buying one of these two designs to feel special in doing so because you know there won't be that many of these out there. So if you're in the first few hours of this video coming out or the first few days I definitely recommend going to my site and checking out the items. See if there's still some available and consider supporting my channel and the content I create by buying one. And for those of you that do choose to buy an item I want to individually thank each and every one of you. It's a really cool feature that comes with the site. I can see everyone that makes a purchase and with your purchase you can leave a comment or a question and I can directly respond to you via a text, voice, or video message on the app that comes with the site. If you aren't able to get your hands on an item, I apologize. I will be doing drops in the future, so leave some feedback on the designs in the comment section because that will help with future designs. Now, let's get back to today's story. So right after we transferred the loot from raiding our neighbor's base, we went on a little bit of a farm run. And when we came back, we noticed that there were ladders leading into our compound. It seemed like someone was inside. Hmm. That is what we're beside the base. I'm guessing that wasn't us that put them there. Yeah, probably not. Are they new? 
I, it's the first time I've seen him. Huh. Good. There's guys up there. Hit him twice. What did they have? DBs? I don't know. I just saw he was in a cast. Uh, has he? Oh. Huh. I, they might be near a windmill. Coming up. Or on our shooting floor? Maybe? Duh. Can you get in? I think. Maybe. I, I, I'm not 100%. You get pushed in, don't you? He's probably up at our windmill. That's what I'm guessing. Oh! M2? That fucking hurt. Oh, it's our roof camper guy. Oh my god. He, how does he have an M2? Wow. Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna shoot all the oh, twig out here. Who the fuck's getting raided? Yeah, for real. He's up here. He's up here with a Tommy. Get him. Nice. His name is Door Camper. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> An M2? What? Yeah. I bet they got that fucking M2 from the presence. Yeah, probably. Oh, dude. They're gonna be annoying. If it, <laughs> dude, if his name is Door Camper and they're roof camping with an M2. Okay. It's in the compound. How did he get in? Oh, I didn't hear that. They're coming back? These guys are persistent. They dropped that twice. Damn. I'm gonna try to fix where they jump in. He's bolting me. Yeah, I killed him up there. Nice. Something like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be good. What? There's no way they can jump in, I don't think. You make, like, uh, two rockets, because if I kill him up there again, he's gonna be on a timer. Yeah. I mean, we should oh. make sure it's the M2. You know? Yeah, true. Here, let me place this. It's literally one door at the bottom, and that's it. It's straight up. Alright, I have one rocket, some explosive ammo. I'm gonna sit in this airlock, and right when you kill him. Is that a you? No, uh, he's shooting out the other side of the tower or somebody. Okay. Right when you kill him, let me know, and I'm just gonna rush it. I'm gonna shoot AK to bait him over this way. Make him look. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah come on, look again. Killed one guy outside you their got base. Got this, Pablo. Oh, he's on the roof. Come on, that's it, buddy. Double headshot him. Hit him. He's down. Nice. I'm going. Going up. There are two door. Oh, I'll shoot in between. It's probably the top one. Can you come boost me? Yeah. Yeah, ladder's going straight up. I don't think there are any doors. He's up there, he's up there. Oh no. He's dead. Nice. Oh my god, there are a lot of little boxes and bags. There's another one. He's dead, 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 dead. I just killed one outside as well. So he's Got a metal set. Time. Killed door camper. Got a bolty. Nice. These boxes are empty. You good? Yeah. Can't find the M2. I think they took it down, dude. Alright, I'm gonna come with this stuff I have. Wait, it's here! It's here! It was on his body! <laughs> How did I not notice? Oh! You're running back? Yeah, he's gonna come out this way. No way. One rocket. Should uh, shoot that a little bit just to add insult to injury on him. Let him know we got him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at me. <laughs> Easy, M2. Oh my god. <laughs> they hadn't even been roof camping for that long, but just based off their names, we knew they were going to be a problem. One that we needed to fix, and we did just that right under their noses. It was extremely satisfying. One rocket and 10 explosive ammo for an M249, a full metal set, and a bolty. I mean, that's pretty worth it if you ask me. Now I know this video really didn't have that much PVP at all, 
but the day was young and Nate was about to get on and we would find ourselves in what seemed like endless fighting. We had ridded our area of annoying neighbors, but that wouldn't last for much longer. New enemies would be made, a rivalry would develop that ended quite explosively. Make sure to catch my next video to see all of that. My name's Stevie, thank you so much for watching.